bottle hold go. I've done a lot of dry ice bombs and have uploaded many of those videos to YouTube before. Uh, however, I haven't uh, uploaded any of my liquid nitrogen bombs. Those work just the same. You put liquid nitrogen into a pop bottle and seal it up, and then the pop bottle will build up pressure as the liquid nitrogen boils and turns into a gas, and eventually the bottle will fail and it will explode. You put that underneath the trash can and you can launch a trash can up like a rocket. Uh, there's one take here where we thought we had a dud, and so I approached it and certainly didn't do it in the safest manner. Uh, you'll see that, and I certainly don't recommend it. Please don't try that. Uh, also, on the last one is probably one of the best ones I've ever done in class, uh, and I go through a brief calculation on how to calculate the height. So, take a look. No way I blew the trash can! <laughs> yes! No! Yes! No one broke the trash can! Yes! yes! No! Yes! This next one is the dud that I didn't think was going to go, and I got way too close to, as you'll see here in the video. There's so much liquid nitrogen in there. Can you still see liquid in it? Yeah. Fine, it's on the bottom, I bet. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Go on. laughs> <laughs> I was holding it with my pinky, or my, my thing, thumb and one finger, and it flew out, and I tried to... I got hit. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm bleeding. <laughs> a bit. I got hit in the beard. I can't help from laughing, but I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I can't tell for sure. It's somewhere in my beard. It's not <laughs> that was awesome! I think I can get a little wow. bit of blood on my fingers. There it is. <laughs> It's always bleeding. Holy crap. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 this is always jumping. Yeah. Yeah. Next, I'm going to walk through a calculation on how to calculate the height of the trash can from the prior video. If you want to watch that, then keep going. Uh, otherwise, uh, feel free to skip ahead uh, to the outro by clicking the annotation that I'll put over here. Uh, also, uh, as a side note, I have found a better way to do this calculation using the video analysis software tracker that I've fallen in love with. However, I had recorded this video clip already and I just didn't have the time to uh, crank it out again with tracker uh, before uploading this video, so maybe next time. So here real quick, we're going to try to find the height of the trash can above the ground. I've grabbed a couple screenshots uh, from the video recording and I've overlaid those over top of one another. And using an on-screen ruler, I've measured the height of the trash can down at the bottom to be about 1.9 centimeters. Up at the top, the trash can's bottom has reached a height of 23.9 centimeters at roughly the peak of its arch. And up high, the trash can itself is a little bit smaller uh, due to just a reduction uh, because of the angular uh, change. Uh, it's about 1.5 centimeters. It's a little hard to judge because the trash can has rotated and uh, is not straight up and down, but it should be close enough to give us a rough estimate. 
And so then we can just find an average height of the trash can real quick, 1.5 plus 1.9 divided by two will give us 1.7 uh, centimeters on the on-screen ruler for the height of the trash can. We probably could go about this another way, but again, we're just looking for something rough and dirty. So anyway, the trash can made it up to a height of 23.9 centimeters, and we divide that by 1.7 centimeters, the height of the trash can. We can find out uh, how many trash cans high uh, the trash can went up on screen, uh, and it's about 14 trash cans high. And the trash can is 35 inches tall, and so we can do a quick conversion then to get the actual height of the trash can in the air. So the trash can went 492 inches up into the air. Quickly divide that by 12 and we'll have the height in feet, which is about 41 feet into the air. Again, that's only approximation. We could also turn that 492 inches into uh, meters. Uh, the conversion factor I happen to have memorized goes from inches to centimeters and from centimeters to meters. Uh, and so uh, punch that into the calculator here and the trash can went up about 12.5 meters into the air. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.